chest up, shoulders back. Welcome to Revival Fitness, everybody. Your home for gains and brains. And today, guys, I'm going to give you a quick tip to improve your deadlift. And it's something I see repeatedly whenever clients send me their videos. And I've recorded myself and I've done it too. I don't think anybody's immune to this because it's a very subtle cue. I think a lot of people need to improve on. So make sure before you pull that you have a elasticity in the hamstrings, you have a hip hinge pattern, you're pushing your butt backwards. And I tell you guys this all the time, you're never going to know this for sure unless you record your sets. Until you have enough experience in the gym, guys, that exercise form is second nature to you. You cannot blindly trust, oh, well, my gym bro said it looks fine. Oh, well, I think it feels good. You can't gauge that. You're not experienced enough to trust yourself with that information. So make sure you guys are recording your sets. And the side view of an exercise oftentimes tells more of a story than the front or back view can. The reason for that being you get to see the entire bar path if you frame it correctly and if you film directly from the side. And that's what's gonna lead into the tip for this video. Because whenever guys send me deadlifts, what I commonly see is this. If you look at this shape here, the form itself doesn't look too bad. His back is flat, right? He's got a good grip on the bar. Everything looks relatively normal. But once the bar leaves the ground, you can see the bar does not go straight up and down it kind of goes backwards and then it pulls up. So is this the end of the world? No, it's not. I think there are far more unsafe things you could be doing with your form, namely if you're gonna be cat backing the weight up. However, this is going to affect your strength when pulling and it's going to, it's hard to quantify how much it's gonna take off of your strength level, but I think it could take anywhere from maybe 10 up to perhaps even 30 or more pounds. So the next question would be, why is this happening? Well, the first reason is gonna be simply this, the bar is not as close to the shins as it should be. And this is the reason why you'll hear me and many other people will say this, this is a common adage, on deadlift day, wear pants or long socks, or something that is going to cover your shins and your ankles up as you pull the bar up. If you've ever seen the old memes of guys bleeding from their shins when deadlifting, that's where that comes from. It's not just a meme. And even myself, whenever I'm wearing long pants, oftentimes I will have little kind of indents in my shins because I have the bar so close to them, kind of pushing into them before I pull off the ground. And something to note as well, if you are a longer legged lifter like I am, in relation to your frame, you're gonna have to really push those hips backwards before you pull the deadlift. That's one of the biggest things. Guys like to assume more of a squat position whenever they deadlift, their knees are kind of forward. So in addition to pushing the bar closer to your shins, something else to consider too, this is very overlooked in many cases, you need to tighten your lats and kind of push them down into the bar. So you can see me in these clips here before I pull the deadlift, guys. I'm doing what's called pulling the slack out of the bar. This is basically unable to be done properly unless you kind of pack your lats down right before doing so. So whenever you bring your lats down like this and you kind of push your arms into your lats, so to speak, that is going to tighten your entire body up, which is going to give you better mechanics when pulling. You guys will commonly see whenever people pull deadlifts, and their upper back rounds very heavily, right? Not just normally as if you're lifting a heavy weight, but as soon as they pull off the ground, the rounding starts, kind of that candy cane effect. Generally speaking, this happens because they're not tight enough in the upper back. So before you pull the deadlift, you want to think about being as tight as possible. That's every area of your body. You basically want to be so solid in stone with your stance before you pull the bar. If somebody came up to you and pushed you or kicked you, you would not move at all. Keep your arms pressed into your lats, and if you're skinnier and you can't really feel that yet, just keep your arms pressed into your body as close as possible. The general rule whenever conventional deadlifting, you wanna keep your grip and your hands basically just outside of the shins. And for myself, I can generally feel the inner elbow, like where my bicep meets my forearm, I can feel that kind of in the crevice of the knee. So once you have all those things down, the next step is to simply initiate the pull. Stop wiggling around and just set up the pull. But one other way that guys can get screwed up with this. Before you deadlift, it's very common for guys to kind of jerk the hips down and up before they pull to get a little bit of momentum. I do the same thing, it's very standard to do. It's not like cheating or anything. However, 
A lot of times whenever guys will do this little hip jerk before they pull the bar off the ground, they will squat a little bit too much. You're going to just dip your hips ever so slightly. It's not like you're going to squat down, then pull back up. You're just gonna drop the hips for a half a second just to get some momentum, kind of stretch out the hamstrings, and then boom, pull it off the ground. Okay, everybody takes selfies and videos of themselves all day in the gym. Don't be too proud to prop your phone up on a dumbbell or on something else, a little tripod, and to record your sets. If people give you a hard time, who cares? But this has been it. So thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you found this informative. Thank you as always to the Patreon supporters and the channel members. Hit me up in the links down below for custom programs, online coaching, and consultations for your own training. And I will catch you guys next time.